into the Red Room again for a little bit of musical nuggets and time for praise and worship. We're going to start with a scripture reading. This is something that uh, at least my Creek Run family is very familiar with. We have spoken about this several times, about the battle that's in the heavenlies and how we approach it, about how we're able to move the heavenlies with our prayers and with our words, and we are not without armor. Now, I'm going to read this scripture from the New Century Version first, and then I'm going to read it from the message. So listen carefully to the differences. You'll hear it in different ways, but it says the same thing. From the New Century Version, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Finally. Be strong in the Lord and in his great power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can fight against the devil's evil tricks. Our fight is not against people on earth, but against the rulers and authorities and the powers of this world's darkness, against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly world. That is why you need to put on God's full armor. Then on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong. And when you have finished the whole fight, you will still be standing. So stand strong with the belt of truth tied around your waist and the protection of right living on your chest. On your feet, wear the good news of peace to help you stand strong. And also use the shield of faith with which you can stop all the burning arrows of the evil one. Accept God's salvation as your helmet. Take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and with all kinds of prayers, asking for everything you need. To do this, you must always be ready and never give up. Always pray for all of God's people. The same verse from Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 from the message. And it's entitled, The Fight to the Finish. And saints, we're in a fight. We're in a fight. It has nothing to do with the COVID-19. That's part of the battle. But that's not the entire battle. That's just one dart of the enemy. And the word of God says, and that about wraps it up, God is strong, and he wants you strong. So take everything the master has set out for you, well-made weapons of the best materials, and put them to use so you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no afternoon athletic contest that we'll walk away from and forget about in a couple of hours. This is for keeps. A life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels. Be prepared. You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get. Every weapon God has issued. So that when it's all over but the shouting, you'll still be on your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith. And salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. In the same way, in the same way, saints, prayer 
is essential in this ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We're on a battlefield. We we're are. soldiers of the cross. And some of the music that we're going to talk about or sing about tonight has to do with that. authority over the devil and we can whine and complain about what's going on we can go to Jesus yes, we can. and sing the song nobody knows the trouble I've seen Jesus knows first of all yes, God knows but what have we done in this battle with the enemy the enemy's not found in politics it's not found in world powers the enemy is the very one who would destroy your soul, if he could do it, what are we doing about the devil? We need to command him. God has given us the authority yes, to is. speak against the devil. And this song talks about that too. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord.
Jesus said, as he hung on a cross between heaven and earth, with his very life's flow dripping out on the ground, he said, it is finished. That the power of God's Son, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, bought us not only freedom, dear friends, it gave us authority through the power of his name and the power of his blood. Another chorus I'd like to sing, it's called Jesus on the Main Line. Now, I'm old enough that I remember telephone party lines. They called them party lines, not because people partied on them, but because you might pick up your phone to make a call and you would hear two other people talking. And having a conversation. And unless there was an emergency, you'd be quiet. Maybe put the phone back down. Go back a little while later and pick it up and see if they were still talking. Because that's what a party line was. Several phones would share one line. Now, if you wanted to hear about what was going on in the neighborhood, you might want to listen quietly and hear what's going on. But the point is this, we have Jesus on the main line. We can tell him what we want. And I want to tell you something, dear friends, tonight. Yes. That what's going on in this world, unless the church takes the authority that God has given us, yes. unless we get down on our knees and repent and to ask God to restore us and fill us with the power and presence of the Holy Ghost. This world's depending on us. Yes. People who don't know the Lord yet uh, don't even realize they have to depend on the church to stand in the gap. We must take the authority that God has given us or, dear friends, we will answer for it. I'm not going to answer for it. I'm taking the authority that God has given me, and I'm asking you to join me in this battle as we take aim at the very enemy of our eternal soul and remind him who he is. He, my friend, is the father of lies. Yes. He's the accuser Absolutely. of the brethren. He's the one yes. that's trying to tell you right yes. now you can't go on because things are getting so bad. God will show up as you praise him, yes. as you ask him, as you take authority over the enemy, because God has given us that authority. And that's in the word of God, and we will stand on the word of God. Yes. Not because life is easy. Yes. You know what? Sometimes people look at pastors and evangelists and preachers like everything is so easy. 
And like there are no problems, I got news for you. We face the same problems that every one of you do. Every one of you. Three times this preacher came right to death's door. God stood in the gap. And I know one day if Jesus doesn't return, this body will die. That does not discourage me because I'm encouraged in him. And he's on the main line. Tell them what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell them what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell them what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell them what you want. For Jesus is on the main line now. I said Jesus on the main line. said concerning Jesus this one that comes after me I'm not worthy to unlatch his shoes yes. he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire the Holy Ghost and power I pray that God will increase your appetite for him tell you why saints We've got to have more of God to make it. Yes. It's just plain and simple. Lord, I pray right now for every person that may be hearing this. And Lord, even for those that may not even be able to hear it, yet by the power and presence of your spirit, I pray, O oh God, that you would fill your church that you would fill your people, that you would feed your sheep oh, until they're overflowing with the Jesus. power and presence of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Lord, that you can show us and speak to us and tell us what we need to do in this time oh, and in this day. Oh, Lord, I vow as your servant to listen to what you tell me to do. Yes. And I ask you to speak to your sheep. Lord, for those that may be discouraged tonight, I pray, Lord, that by the power and oh. presence of your Spirit, you would lift them up yes, Lord, above the meager elements of this world, oh, God. that they would have their eyes on you and not on the circumstances that are around them. Even as Peter began to sink beneath the sea, as the storm was raging around him, he took his eyes off of you, dear Lord. But, Lord, he called out to you when he realized he was in trouble. Yes, he did. Lord, we're calling out to you now because we recognize the trouble that we're facing in this world. And it's because 
of that ruler of darkness. Yes. And I come against you now, Satan, yes, in the name of I Jesus. I take a stand that my I Lord and agree. Savior paid the price for. We plead the blood. And I command you command to go your way, to hold your peace. Yes. Lord, now that your church might go forward in might oh, and in power, that we might see the victory that only you can give. Oh, Bless your people, O oh God. You know how we love the saints, mm -hmm. not just in the two churches that we serve, but Lord, so many people in this area that we've come to know who proclaim your name in boldness and tell others about Jesus. Thank you, Lord, yes, for God. the victory now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. There's another chorus. You know this one. Victory in Jesus. That's where our victory is. <laughs> for us if you want to get angry don't get angry at the Democrats yeah. don't get angry at the Republicans get angry at the devil yes Hallelujah. when I served a charge in Berkeley Springs one of the dear saints on my charge came down with cancer that woman was scared to death she told me how one night in the middle of the night she ran over to her neighbors and pounded on the door crying, saying, I don't want to die. Oh, we had prayer for her. She went for treatments, went through that grueling process of chemotherapy and radiation. And I remember one night in prayer at home, the Lord told me I needed to go to that woman. And tell her, Sharon, it's time for you to get mad at the devil. And I said, if you'll turn your anger against the very enemy of your eternal soul, God is going to save your life. Dear friend, that's over 20 years ago. She got mad at the devil and something happened inside of her that took that cancer from her body. You may not like getting emotional. I'm going to tell you what. If somebody walks through your door tonight with a gun, pulled it out and said, I'm going to kill you, I'll bet you, you'd get emotional real quick. Get mad at the devil. Claim your authority in Christ Jesus. God, my friend, I promise you, God will see you through this. There's another chorus we sing. Words are real simple. God is so good. God is so good.
we care about you. I know how much you care about us and about uh, your family, but the love of the Lord makes the best that we have to offer look like a shadow. God loves you so very much. He's oh, so Jesus. desperate for you to be His. He's asking you, if you have not already made him the Lord of your life, to make him the Lord of your life. To simply say, Jesus, I love you. I accept who you are. I accept you as Lord and King and Master. Oh, Jesus. I accept, oh God, that you gave your life up for me. And that you were resurrected for me. And that because of that sacrifice, you will stand in the gap for me forever. Enter my heart, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Oh, just come in. Take over my life, Lord. I'll give it up to you. Because you need what God has. I ask him into your heart. See what the Lord will do. I got to tell you, long time before all this stuff started, I remember seeing a, a meme go across Facebook. Somebody said, this, the, the gist of it was, somebody asked me, do you need the Holy Spirit to go to church? And she said, I need the Holy Spirit to go to church. You've been shopping. You for sure know you need the Holy Spirit to go to Walmart now, don't you? Mm -hmm. You need God's protection no matter where you go. We're going to call on the Lord to watch over you. Mm -hmm. Because we believe, we trust, we know. Because we have experienced it yes. in our own lives. It's so real to us. And it will be real to you. And we ask that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. And the Lord give you his peace. The peace that passes all understanding. And that the Lord's favor fall on you. And that that Holy Spirit fire fill you to overflowing. Be blessed now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.